Well, the teams have just arrived on the pitch here at the Staplewood campus. We'll just run you through those sides once again before kick-off for Southampton. It's Harry Eisted in goal with a back four of Bevis Mugabe, Jason McCarthy, Will Wood and Josh DeBayo. Captain Dom Gape is joined by Harrison Reed as the holding midfield two with Jake Hesketh just in front of them. Sam McQueen and Lloyd Isgrove will be supporting Marcus Barnes who will be looking to keep up his fine form early on this season. Looks like the Bayo to take curls it in. It's into the box and it's held by Madison. I think it was Marcus Barnes who got the flick on it. And it looked to be heading towards the far corner, but Madison was across well to win that. Yeah, Good nice, work. nice delivery just coming in. I think you're, uh, you're right. It was a sort of combination of Barnes and the right back, Matty Miles, I think, in the end, just coming off of his shoulder. And, uh, the goalkeeper doing well to move across and, and gather it. That's a good ball into Barnby who spins away from Harrison Reid, advances towards goal on his left foot, slips it through, here's Ndukwu under pressure, slots it home. Leicester City take the lead, it's Leighton Ndukwu with the goal and just slotted it under Harry Arstead to give the visitors a 1-0 lead. Yeah, he did, he did well, didn't he, first of all, to kind of just control that through ball before it could get across to Bevis Mugabe. He did his best to get across, trying to slide down in front of him, but you're right, Ndukwu did really well just to, to prod the ball past Harry Arstead and, uh, and give Leicester the lead. Uh, Barnes here gets away from his man here's Jake Hesketh advancing towards goal under pressure goes left footed just wide of the far post it was a good run from Hesketh to latch onto that ball from Barnes but he couldn't quite find the far corner on his left foot yeah it would have been the perfect response wouldn't it a, a good sort of flowing move really to get the ball up in front of Jake Hesketh and then uh, unfortunate just to see the shot held Jason McCarthy advancing here showing what he can do, advancing well, gives it wide to Lloyd Isgrove, gets another ball into the box, McQueen's coming in the back post, great finish from Sam McQueen to level the scores, an excellent ball in from Lloyd Isgrove that time and Sam McQueen did terrifically well to finish. Oh, what a tremendous cross, I was just praying that, that, uh, that someone could get on the end of it first of all, an absolutely you know, delightful whipped cross just coming in from the right and well done Sam McQueen, you know, just to stick the leg out and, and volley it in, not easy to do that uh, in that position and thankfully the goalkeeper didn't stop it getting past him either, so uh, yeah, really good goal. Well, here they come then with Dodu, it's a good tackle from Reed. screams from three or four Southampton players, they can't quite believe the referee has given a free kick here, all screaming he got the ball. We'll just look at the replay here, he drags it onto his, his right foot and as Harrison Reed comes in, well, he does get the ball, but it's yeah. sort of... It isn't it's it's the one the of those, foot, you, is it? It's sort you know, of the, 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 the foot. foot that's led in for the tackle yeah. isn't the one that's won it, and therefore that's the one the referee's always looking at. But the other one's kind of come through, almost poked between the two legs of the Leicester player and, and nicked it away. So probably both cases, uh, probably right to, to complain there. Just left of centre. Up and over the wall, but it's into the hands of Eisted, who does well there because that bounced just in front of him, and that's always a difficult one for goalkeepers. It, it was, and you know, it's the sort of thing that us as commentators, there's a little sharp intake of breath when you see it does just dip as it's going towards the goalkeeper. You see his legs wide open, his arms down low, trying to grab it. But you know, these goalkeepers are better than us, aren't they? So uh, he did really well there, Harry Eisted. Well, it's a good ball in from Debo just to break away from there, and he's Heskiff's there. That's surely a penalty. The referee's called on the physio for Leicester City with the goalkeeper down. I'm, I'm not quite sure how a penalty has not been given there. Hesketh was just completely cleaned out by the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper didn't take the ball. Broke out into the penalty area. Hesketh was first onto it. And <laughs> I, I think that replay shows there's, there's just... There's not a lot of point of talking about this one, I think. No, so I, I, uh, I think we'll move on from there. I think we'll move on. Saints building up again though, that was a lovely touch from De Bayo and he's done really well to feed it in for Dom Gape. Wide for Hesketh, great chance for Hesketh, tries to play it across for Seager. What a great opportunity for Hesketh, I don't know why he didn't go for goal there. One on one with the goalkeeper, chose to pass it across for, for Seager, they are such good link up play between them but he opts to pass, I'm not sure why and it's just too heavy for Seager. I think, I think it's a case of wanting to help his mate, he's come back onto the pitch and wanting him to get in up and running for the season. They, have, they, they do link up so well but on that occasion Hesketh should have gone for goal. There's Dom Gape winning possession back, the neat turn and got the option to switch it out for Mugabe which he doesn't when he strides forward, he's going for goal, good hit from Mugabe, bounces up, breaks for Seager, 2-1! Ryan Seager finds the back of the net, back in the team and back in the goals. Back in the goals and what a fantastic finish it was for him. Just to kind of read that bounce before it came, you know, Bevis Mugabe did really well to advance, hit that low bobbling shot that forced the goalkeeper into the spill. But, you know, fair play to Ryan Seager. He's following in. Even before the goalkeeper's touched it, he's getting there. He's reading what's going to happen. And, you know, like we just said, the fox in the box, Ryan Seager pops up with the goals at the right time and in the right place as well. Excellent goal from Southampton. 
Here he is again, Ryan Seeger. Slips a little bit, great effort. Pokes it just wide of the right hand post. It was a really unorthodox effort. He was sort of falling over, so he had to go with it. He went with his left foot in the end. It was almost like a, a toe poke that really had Madison scrambling to his right, but uh, it just went wide of the post. Oh, Leicester City looking to get back in this one then. They've made all three substitutions now. We've got Brandon Fox, Andre Olakumni, and Daniel Rowe on the pitch. Here's Saints. That's a ball through from McQueen. Seeger hits the post, comes back to him, and he taps it home. It's 3 1. Ryan Seeger grabs his second of the night. An excellent through ball from Sam McQueen. His first effort came back off the post, but Seeger was there to tap it home and make it 3 1. Yeah, excellent stuff. Really good attempt, first of all, with the, the first finish just to kind of slide it past the goalkeeper and then the alertness to, to stay awake, to stay there and tap it in at the second time of asking. More good finishing from Ryan Seeger, just like we expect. It's McQueen. One goal and an assist for him this evening does well to win it back and that could be a fantastic ball for Lloyd Isgrove what can Isgrove do here he's got the pace to get away from his man here's Lloyd Isgrove cuts inside onto his right foot strikes good save from Madison excellent ball from Sam McQueen lovely work from Lloyd Isgrove but he couldn't find the back of the net good save from Madison here Saints come again though cut back for Jake Heskiff slips it in here's Seeger tries to make it three can't quite do so and the flag was up tried to grab his hat trick and he just couldn't time the run it was a lovely ball through from Hesketh he's played that a few times over the last few months and he's really good at just slipping those balls through for the strikers but that time Seeger was offside and there's the final whistle it's a 3-1 win for Southampton's under 21s um, of course you know all it's pleasant you know to see the boys you know enjoying their the great performance you know that they had uh, we told them, you know, from the start, it's not going to be, you know, easy game. Uh, we showed them everything, you know, about the team. We 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 prepared the game, you know, well, and then um, that's that's the result, you know, the great performance. Um, even thought, you know, first half was ups and downs. We considered the goal, you know, was against, you know, our our play, but um, I think, you know, uh, in that stage, you know, the the boys, you know, uh, knew that they're gonna, you know. Uh, switch it and then uh, um, get you know the first goal and then we saw the first the second half was so great there seemed to be two very important reactions one after conceding the first goal and one also after not getting that penalty in the second half how pleasing was that for you those reactions that you saw from the team it's very really pleasing to be fair you know uh, even thought you know that was clear penalty everyone saw that a um, bit frustrated with the with the decision but you know what i mean Good reaction again from the boys. They kept their head up. They worked really hard. You know, we we made we made it difficult. You know, for the opponent, and then uh, we rewarded ourselves. You know, with the uh, with the uh, second and the third goal. And Ryan Seeger came back into the side after injury. He's been building up his fitness, and we all know what he can do in front of goal. And and he just showed that tonight once again, didn't he? It's not strange of uh, for for Seeger. You know, uh, even thought you know uh, fitness wise, he's not he's not at his hundred percent, but. You saw Seeks, you know, make it difficult for the two centre backs. His movement is already a clever movement, and uh, he scored the goal. That's that's a like a full statement on on, on Seeks. So I'm, I'm I'm happy for him to come back, you know, from a long term in injury, and uh, hopefully he'll take it from there. He'll build up from there. We'll give him more chances to play, and uh, hopefully, you know, we will uh, get to his uh, normal uh, fitness. Watching from the bench, did you feel that you could come on and make an impact in the game? Uh, definitely. When it was 1-0, I always feel if I come on, I can have it. if I have a sniff of a chance, I can get a goal. And luckily, the keeper spilled the first one. I was just there to pounce on it. So yeah. It does typify the type of striker you are, doesn't it? In and around that box, ready to pounce on it and any loose balls. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't think I'm scoring many goals outside the box, to be honest. But um, yeah, I don't care how they go in as long as they go in. How big was it for you to, to come back and, and pick up where you left off, so to speak? Because you had such an impressive year last season. Yeah, definitely. I feel like my season's just starting now. Obviously, pre-season going where the first team getting injured was disappointed and seeing everyone else like progress. So I feel like I've got to come back and prove myself again. And hopefully I can do that. As you talk about, it was a really important win as well because it keeps up that unbeaten run and just keeps that momentum flowing. Yeah, definitely. I think that's um, yeah, two wins and two draws now. So hopefully we can build on that. And we've got Reading next Monday. So hopefully we'll get another win there.